Hello, unicorn enthusiasts. So, back in high school, Chelsea used her voodoo magic to look into the future and find out how my life would turn out. This is that story. Once upon a time, there was a ses sexy Eskimo named Crystal. She was lonely because her friends were getting married... <coughs> were getting married and not moving to Siberia, so she decided that she would wanted to get married. She went to Multnomah Bible College with her friends, Chelsea, Zach, and Emily, and they decided that since Crystal was so lonely, they were going to set her up on a blind date. They found a nice guy named Matt, and then found... <coughs> And then, oh, they find and found a nice guy named Matt, and then all five of them went out to dinner together. Towards the end of dinner, Chelsea, Zach, and Emily ditched Crystal and Matt. Crystal really liked Matt, and Matt liked Crystal. So they went on a second date, and so on and so forth. About two years after Crystal and Matt met, Matt asked Crystal to marry him. He took her out to dinner, and he put the ring in her salad. Very romantic, I might add. <laughs> Then he got down on one knee and proposed. After that, they decided to get married in July. They got married in Crystal's church with like a million people. Uh, with like a million people there. And since Crystal wanted it to snow on her wedding day, her amazing friends, who introduced her to Matt, rented a snow machine for her. For their honeymoon, they went on a trip around the world. Now that is my kind of honeymoon. Pretty awesome. Um, they went to Africa, Japan, Europe, Canada, and Siberia, where none of their friends lived. Then they came back home to Oregon to settle down. About a year later, Crystal found out she was pregnant. They were so excited to find out that it was a baby boy. He was born on April 17th, and they named him Landon. When Landon was two, Crystal found out she was pregnant again. This time, it was twins, one boy and one girl. They named them Antoinette and Jasper. When Antoinette and Jasper were one and a half, Crystal and Matt decided to adopt a baby girl so that Antoinette could have a sister. They named the new baby girl Andrea. All four of their kids grew up and got married, and Landon had two boys... Antoinette had one girl, Jasper had one girl and a bo or one girl and two boys, and Andrea had three girls and one boy. So Crystal and Matt had ten grandkids. Just before Crystal's seventy fourth birthday, Matt died of a heart attack. Wow, my life sucks. When Crystal was almost 80, she died peacefully in her sleep, and the ses sexy Eskimo lived happily ever after in heaven. So, just in case you guys wanted to know what was going to happen to me in the years to come, this is fact, and it will happen. So, I just wanted to share that information with you guys. Love you. Bye.